Yo, what's going on, everybody? Chokai Gaming here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Bus Driver 12's Thomas FS65 model and Rigs of Rods. Today, we are going to be looking at the sound quality, the model quality, the functionality quality, and the drive quality. See, so brakes. Oh, the brakes are really good. This model is not yet finished, it is still a work in progress, so please keep that in mind. Starting off in the front, we'll start with the cross gate. Not just the crossing gate itself, it's awesome and I love it, but more specifically, this thing down here, the thing that attaches it to the bumper. Look at all the dots and detail on that thing. I think that's rivets, bolts, whatever that is. I love the detail. And it's not just on the crossing gate, it is on the mirrors too, the cross views on both sides, and of course, the side mirrors on both sides. My boy Boss Driver 12 did the windows right, and he put blue instead of just leaving them clear on the outside. I love that. I'm used to just seeing clear non-tinted windows and rigs of rods. This is awesome. And of course, it's not just all non-tinted windows. We've got tinted windows down the side. And speaking of windows, we've got the emergency windows right here, nicely modeled, with reflective tape around. Unfortunately, this does not show up at night. You know, it doesn't light up or anything. I'll show a screenshot of that here. Maybe that's a project for the future? I have no idea. And here in the back, let's move to the bottom where we can see the exhaust pipe, which is very, very well modeled. If we look underneath, let's see how far does it go. Oh, it goes all the way over to the engine. That's impressive. You usually don't see exhaust pipes go all the way up to the engine in ROR. Usually maybe just up to the back axle or something. I don't know. At least that's what I've seen. Anyways, the lights are highly detailed. The LEDs look very nice when they are lit up, and we will show that later. And I've even got the arrow pointed up for the emergency exit uh, handle. You usually don't see that a lot. And of course, this vehicle stops at all railroad crossings. And here's one thing near the back. Well, it's technically on the side, but it is near the back. I love the uh, the detail, like, right on the back here, like, the edges. Oh, this looks... I like, like, this whole area right here. I love it. And moving on down to the driver's side near the driver's cockpit. We can see we have our stop sign here, which has very, very detailed text. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see this, but... I mean, it actually looks like an actual bus stop sign because of the, you know... I don't want to say the font, but, like, the texture within the text looks very, very reflective and very, very realistic. And coming back over here, we see that we have more vents, just like in the back, by the back door. All right, let's see. We've got more reflective tape. And all right, I think that is going to conclude our exterior review. So now let's go ahead on inside for the interior review. Let's walk down the aisle. We've got gray seats in here. I love the textures. Oh, wow, we've even got dirt on the side here. I love this. This is amazing, even on the ceiling. We've got dirt like this is an actual bus. This is an 04 model, to be specific, and there's a lot of dirt in here. And on the actual 04s, of course, there is a lot of dirt. So that is that. Also, Bus Driver 12, my man even put the effort into the roof hatches. I know a lot of people don't always do that, but Bus Driver 12 got this bus set up right. Let's see the emergency exit. All right, looking good, looking good. Operates from inside only, of course. I would like to see a lever in here, but of course, this is a work in progress. It will probably be added, and I cannot wait for that. And back here by the back door, we've got the emergency exit handle. We've even got the, uh, I don't even know what this is, the thing where the handle goes in. I don't even know what it's called, but we've got the label, emergency exit, to open, pull up handle, push out door. We'll see if this actually works when we do the functionality test. Oh, look, we've even got a trash can back here. Well done, Bus Driver 12. Alrighty, so we are now in the cockpit here, and let's look down. Oh, we have a trash can up here as well. Two trash cans on this bus. I like it. We've got a little cubby compartment. Cubby compartment here. We've got our shifter and our key, and I think I don't think the parking brake is in here yet. And, of course, we've got a warning. Let's see what it says. Warning, this bus is equipped with a backup alarm system. When put in reverse, alarm must sound. We'll test that. And to the left, we've got all of our switches. So I think this is our power mirrors and a cigarette port. And we've got all of our fans, our heaters, our warning lights. We've even got a radio in this thing and our climate controls for the driver. And of course, our indicator lights. We've even got a water bottle right here. How cool is that? And of course, our left fan, our right fan, and our gauge cluster. We've even got an air gauge down here. 
So for modeling on this thing, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I love the rivets quality and I love the roof hatch quality. Two things that I think could be added. Of course, I'm not, you know, going to deduct my rating since this is still a work in progress. Are the addition of a parking brake knob and some latches on the emergency window exits. Other than that, this model is absolutely flawless. So now that we are done with the modeling quality, let's move on to the sound quality. So first things first, let's make sure our ROR volume is at 100%, which it is. All right, let's go. We'll turn the key on and let's test out the sounds. That sounded really, really good for a Rigs of Rods model. I do like the uh, gauge sweep sounds in there. If those could be added to the, you know, actual gauges, I'm kind of going into modeling again. But if those could be added, that could be added, that would be amazing. Anyways, let's start up the bus. All right, so that is the beautiful sound of the Cat C7 in this thing. I can barely even hear my own voice. It's so loud. Let's rev it up. Oh yeah, this thing is amazing. All right, let's go ahead and we will bring the RPMs down by putting it in drive. All right, let's see, we're already stopped. All right, let's test the horn. Oh, no horn. Not yet, of course. That is to be added. Let's put it in reverse. All right, no reverse lights, but that's okay to be added. And I think a reverse beeper sounds very, very nice. Oh, look, we've even got smoke coming out of the tailpipe. I love it when people add that. All righty, so the rest of the sounds is going to test break. Oh, that sounds fresh. Bus driver cloud did not leave that brake sound out, and that sounds amazing. All right, let's see. And parking brake release. All right, no brake release sound. Oh, maybe there is a brake release sound. All right, let's try it again. Brake release. There we go. And brake apply. There we go. That sounds fresh. And now let's turn the bus off so we can listen to a couple more sounds that are kind of a little bit quieter than the engine. Let's see a turn signal. Oh, that sounds good. Right? And hazards. Oh yeah, I love that sound. So for sound quality, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna deduct my rating just because of the horn, because I think the rest of the sounds sound absolutely amazing. I mean, listen to this. I could play with this all day. So now let's get moved on to the functionality test. This will include things like lights and if the back door opens or even if the hood opens. All right, so let's begin with the lights. In the front, we can see that our crossing gate is out. All of our lights are functioning like they should in the front, like I would normally expect in rigs of rods. And let's see, in the back, um, I don't see any reverse lights. That's an issue. I didn't see any tail lights either. When I turn the headlights on, those are actually the brake lights that you see right now. I can show you the, quote, tail lights here in a second. But, um, yeah, a lot of this is looking really nice. Um, let's see, let's turn on the tail lights. All right, so, yep, this is without the brake. There's no tail lights. Uh, let's see, let's reset that parking brake so the bus don't roll. And let's see, do the, does the back door open? I don't think it does. Let's pull up the menu here. Um, I don't see any commands for the back door. So, um, yeah. And as far as lights on the inside go, the switch panel is all lit up, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Both of the pilot lights are on, although both of them kind of look like they're the same color. When they're flashing, I kind of have a hard time distinguishing between the two. So maybe they could be a little more... You know, I don't know what the word is. Saturized? I don't know. Looking at the gauge cluster, I really like how this looks. I like how, you know, it's all lit up and everything. And it has that kind of glow effect. It's not just, you know, off and on. It's kind of got this effect where, you know, lights are shining on other parts of the cluster as well. At least that's what I think. And of course, our turn signals are flashy flashy, per usual, along with our high beam headlight light and our parking brake light. So for functionality, I will give it a 9 out of 10 because I um, I have a hard time, you know, telling these two lights apart, uh, at least when they're on. The parking brake doesn't work and the back door doesn't open. Um, so because of that, I'm maybe maybe in at nine and a half. We'll give it a nine and a half. Alrighty, so now let's move on to what it's like to drive Bus Driver 12's FS65. Now, I am changing up one thing from normal driving videos. I'm using the keyboard today, so a lot of my keyboard fans can feel, you know, 
little more involved with this so they know what it's like. You know, I always use a wheel. Anyways, see, so put on the brake, brake release, put it in drive, and let's see. Takeoff is pretty good. I like the takeoff speed. Oh man, this thing pick up, picks up speed. See, brakes. Oh, the brakes are really good. Oh, forgot to close the door. That's a normal driving move for me. I usually forget to close the door every once in a while. Steering, I really like the handling on this. This thing is amazing for handling. I love it. Well, let's see here. Try not to crash it. All right. I like how the uh, wheel turns more than just, you know, 900 degrees. And, you know, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Right now, it looks realistic because, you know, I'm on the keyboard, but sometimes, at least when I first noticed that in most Driver 12's models, the wheel turning too much. I don't even want to say too much, just more than usual. It kind of threw me off. I will say that. But I'm not going to take that off my rating because it is realistic. Let's see here. Stop. And let's see. What else can we do? Oh, student stop. Alrighty, so 200 feet from the stop, I will activate my amber overhead warning lights. I'll be checking traffic as I slow down. Go ahead, pull the parking brake, put it in neutral. I will switch over to my reds, check traffic again, and I will open the door and let the students on and give them the signal to cross. I would say that driving was a 10 out of 10. Just like this video, if you enjoyed it, leave a like on it, go subscribe if you haven't already. As always, I'll have a link to our Tower Discord server in the description below. With that being said, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time.